before I before we joined Mungano, we did not know anything about savings. We used to like use all the money we had. If we had even an emergency, we could not give it even anything, any cash because we are not saving. In a business, many people do not know like you can put like 10 shillings aside, then you can use it for tomorrow in emergencies. When we started Mungano, I was one of the collectors. I used to go around the community collecting 10 shillings from each neighborhood. Where, where we live back then, it was not like even safe, but when we joined Mungano, we even went and taught the youths about Mungano. So they were not like idle because we gave them some, we gave them a job. We have a, a toilet that Mungano owns. We've employed like three youths. We also have a water kiosk that we go through through the help of Pamoja Trust because they taught us how we could fight for our rights. Because by then, Madhare, we had a lot of shortage of water. I remember one day we blocked even the road. We went to town and we striked. And by like a week later, the Nairobi water came and provided water for the community. That's how Mungano helped the community because it was through Mungano that we got all the water kiosks that are in Madhari. At first, even the community, when we first joined Mungano, they thought Mungano was trying to grab land because as in Huruma Kambimoto, they helped them to build houses. But in Madhari, a lot of land grabbing, there's a lot of land grabbing, and there's a they call it Bondeni Properties. A group called Bondeni Properties owns like all of our all of Madhare. When we see, they see an NGO coming to Madhare, they think that these guys want to take away the land. That's all they thought when they first they first met the Pamoja Trust group. The Bondeni Properties and Pamoja Trust had a talk and they told them what they came to do to the community. By the end of that talk, even some of the Bondeni properties joined Mongano because they saw that it was bringing a lot of change in the community. There are 10 members of the Bondeni properties. They own like the whole of Madhari. They are the one who sell the land, the grab lands. Even where we built our toilets, we had to ask from them so that we can build the toilet. But we were also helped by the city council. And in Mungano we have even village elders that join Mungano. But at first they did not want to join Mungano. And some youth that wanted to take away our project, the toilet, but now they are in Mungano.